Did you know that the original Seven Wonders of the World were all built before the invention of concrete? The Colossus of Rhodes was a giant statue over 100 feet tall that was built on the island of Rhodes in the 3rd century BC. It was so huge, ships were sailing between the legs. Have you ever wondered why only Seven Wonders were originally considered? The original Seven Wonders of the World were selected by Hellenic travelers in the 1st millennium BC. The number seven was chosen because it was a sacred number in Greek and Roman culture, and it represented perfection and plenty. The decision of who made the original list of the seven wonders is not entirely clear. Some sources say that it was made by a group of Greek poets and writers, while others say that it was made by a single individual. Another theory is that the number seven was chosen because it was a relatively small number that would be easy to remember. The decision of which structures to include on the list was made by a group of ancient Greek scholars. These scholars were likely influenced by their own personal experiences and biases, as well as the opinions of other travelers and scholars. They made careful note of these structures in travel guides, artwork, and poems. The list has been changed several times over the centuries. But the most famous version is the one that was compiled by Philo of Byzantium in the 1st century AD. Only one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Pyramid of Giza, is still standing today. Other six wonders were all destroyed by natural disasters or war. It is truly amazing to think about how the ancient builders were able to create the seven wonders of the world without the benefit of modern technology. The ancient builders of the seven wonders of the world were some of the most ingenious and resourceful people who ever lived. They used advanced mathematics and engineering principles. The ancient Greeks used their knowledge of geometry to design the Parthenon. And the ancient Romans used their knowledge of hydraulics to build the aqueducts that brought water to their cities. The ancient Egyptians used the Nile River to transport materials to the pyramids. And the ancient Greeks used the wind to power their sailing ships. The world is a vast and wondrous place, full of amazing sights and experiences. From the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu to the modern marvels of the Great Wall of China. Welcome to Rewrite Info Station. There is something for everyone to explore. So let's take a journey around the globe to discover some of the most fascinating wonders of the world. The Great Pyramid of Giza. The only wonder of the ancient world that is still standing today. The Great Pyramid is the largest pyramid in the world. It is about 481 feet tall and about 756 feet wide at its base. It is estimated to have been built around 2560 BC by Khufu, the second pharaoh of the 4th dynasty of Egypt. The Great Pyramid is made of limestone blocks that weigh an average of 2.5 tons each. It is estimated that it took over 2.3 million blocks to build the pyramid. The blocks were quarried from nearby quarries and transported to the Giza Plateau using a complex system of ramps and rollers. The Great Pyramid is a marvel of engineering and architecture. The Great Pyramid is one of the most precisely aligned structures in the world. Its sides are aligned to the four cardinal directions within 0.01 degrees and its sides are almost perfectly square. The pyramid is also incredibly stable, and it has withstood the test of time for over 4,500 years. The Great Pyramid is also a marvel of astronomical alignment. 
The four sides of the pyramid are perfectly aligned to the four cardinal points of the compass. And the entrance to the pyramid is aligned with the star Sirius. The Great Pyramid is a powerful symbol of ancient Egypt and its legacy. The Great Pyramid is a testament to the ingenuity and power of ancient Egypt. It is a reminder of the great achievements that humans are capable of when they work together. The Great Pyramid is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Great Pyramid of Giza is a mystery that has captured the imagination of people for centuries. What was its purpose? How was it built? These are questions that may never be fully answered. But the Great Pyramid continues to fascinate and inspire us today. Second wonder of ancient world, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It is thought to have been built in the 6th century BC by Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife Amethyst. The gardens were said to be terraced, with each level containing a different type of plant. They were irrigated by a complex system of water wheels and pipes, which brought water from the Euphrates River to the top of the gardens. They were said to be over 100 feet tall and cover an area of over 10 acres. Unfortunately, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon were destroyed centuries ago, and their exact location is unknown. However, their legacy lives on, and they continue to inspire people all over the world. The statue of Zeus at Olympia was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It is the statue of Zeus, the king of the gods in Greek mythology, that was made of gold and ivory. The statue was so large that it was said that Zeus's head reached the ceiling of the temple where it was housed. The statue was created by the Greek sculptor Phidias in the 5th century BC. The statue of Zeus was so realistic that it was said that the beard of the statue seemed to move in the wind. The eyes of the statue were made of precious stones, and they were said to glow in the dark. Did you know that the statue was so valuable that it was insured for the equivalent of over $1 billion in today's money? The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And it was a colossal temple dedicated to the goddess Artemis. It was built in the 6th century BC and was one of the largest temples in the ancient world. It could hold up to 25,000 people. The temple was made of marble and was decorated with gold and ivory. The temple was destroyed by a fire in 356 BC, but it was rebuilt several times. It was finally destroyed by the Goths in 262 AD. The ruins of the Temple of Artemis can still be seen in Ephesus, Turkey. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And it was a tomb that was built for Mausolus, the ruler of Caria. The mausoleum was decorated with sculptures of Mausolus, his wife Artemisia, and other members of the royal family. It was built in the 4th century BC, and it was destroyed by an earthquake in the 12th century AD. And its ruins can still be seen in Bodrum, Turkey. Did you know? The mausoleum was said to be so beautiful that it was compared to a mountain. The Colossus of Rhodes was a colossal statue of the Greek god Helios, the sun god, erected in the city of Rhodes, Greece by chairs of Lindos in the 3rd century BC. It was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and it was said to be so large that ships could sail between its legs. The statue was made of bronze and was hollow. It was filled with earth and rubble to make it stable, and stood over 100 feet tall. The Colossus was destroyed by an earthquake in 226 BC, and its ruins were scattered across the island of Rhodes. Did you know? 
the Colossus of Rhodes was never rebuilt, but its legacy lives on as a symbol of human ingenuity and the power of the sea. The Lighthouse of Alexandria The Lighthouse of Alexandria was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And it was a lighthouse that was built on the island of Pharos in Alexandria, Egypt. It was built in the 3rd century BC, and it was destroyed by an earthquake in the 14th century AD. It was said to be so tall that it could be seen from 50 miles away. Did you know? The lighthouse of Alexandria inspired the design of many modern lighthouses. Let's have a look at modern world wonders. The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is more than just a physical barrier. It is a symbol of China's strength and resilience. It is a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the Chinese people. It is the longest man-made structure in the world, stretching for over 13,000 miles, 21,000 kilometers, along the historical borders of China. It is estimated that over 10 million people died during its construction. The Great Wall is not a single, continuous structure. It is made up of many different sections each of which was built by a different dynasty for over 2,000 years. The wall is still being maintained today, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Great Wall is not just a tourist attraction. It is a living monument to China's past and present. It is a place where people can come to learn about China's history and culture, and to reflect on the power of human potential. Petra Petra is a stunning ancient city carved into the sandstone cliffs of Jordan. It was once the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Petra is known for its many temples and tombs, which were carved into the rock. Petra was founded in the 6th century BC by the Nabataeans, a nomadic Arab tribe. The Nabataeans were skilled traders and engineers, and they used Petra as a major trading center. Petra was abandoned in the 7th century AD, after the Muslim conquest of the region. Petra was rediscovered in the 19th century by a Swiss explorer named Johann Ludwig Burkhardt. Petra has been featured in several movies, including Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade and The Mummy. Petra is a truly magical place. It is a city that has been hidden away for centuries, and it is a place that still feels mysterious and exotic. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca city located high in the Andes Mountains of Peru. It was rediscovered in the 20th century and is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in South America. Machu Picchu is known for its stunning location and its well-preserved ruins. It was built in the 15th century by the Incas, and was abandoned in the 16th century, shortly after the Spanish conquest of Peru. The exact purpose of Machu Picchu is still unknown, but it is believed to have been a royal estate or a sacred religious site. Did you know? Machu Picchu was rediscovered in 1911 by Hiram Bingham, an American explorer. 
Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza is an ancient city located in Mexico. It was built in the 7th century AD by the Maya. It is known for its many temples and pyramids, including the Cuculcan Pyramid. The Cuculcan Pyramid is also known as El Castillo, or the Castle. The pyramid has 91 steps on each of its four sides, for a total of 364 steps. The top of the pyramid is aligned with the spring and fall equinoxes, so that on those days, the sun casts a shadow of a serpent down the steps of the pyramid. The city was abandoned in the 12th century AD, and its exact reasons for abandonment are unknown. Chichen Itza was rediscovered in the 19th century. Chichen Itza is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Mexico. The Colosseum The Colosseum is an iconic landmark in Rome, Italy. It is a symbol of the power and influence of the Roman Empire, and it is a reminder of the bloody and brutal history of gladiatorial contests. The Colosseum was built in the 1st century AD by Emperor Vespasian and was completed by his son Titus. It was originally known as the Flavian Amphitheatre, and it was the largest amphitheatre in the Roman Empire. It was used for gladiatorial contests and public executions, and it could seat over 80,000 spectators. Gladiatorial contests were a popular form of entertainment in the Roman Empire. Gladiators were trained warriors who fought to the death in front of cheering crowds. Animal hunts were another popular event held at the Colosseum. These hunts featured exotic animals from all over the world, including lions, tigers, elephants, and bears. The animals were often pitted against each other or against gladiators. The contests were often bloody and brutal, and they were seen as a way to entertain the masses and to demonstrate the power of the Roman Empire. The Colosseum was in use for over 400 years, and it was eventually abandoned in the 5th century AD. Did you know? The Colosseum could be flooded in order to stage mock sea battles. The Colosseum has been damaged by earthquakes and looting over the centuries, but it is still an impressive sight. The Colosseum is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Rome. Taj Mahal The Taj Mahal is an ivory-white marble mausoleum located on the south bank of the Yamuna River in the Indian city of Agra. It was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his third wife Mumtaz. It took over 20,000 workers 22 years to build. The Taj Mahal is one of the most beautiful buildings in the world, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The marble used to build the Taj Mahal was brought from all over India, including Rajasthan, Gujarat, and the Deccan. The inlay work is made of semi-precious stones, including lapis, lazuli, turquoise, and jasper. The Taj Mahal is also a symbol of loss. Mumtaz died during childbirth, and Shah Jahan was heartbroken. He built the tomb for his wife, and it is said that he visited the mausoleum every day until his death. The Taj Mahal is a reminder of the power of love and the pain of loss. The Taj Mahal is a truly awe-inspiring place. It is a testament to the power of human love, creativity, and engineering. Christ the Redeemer 
The statue of Christ the Redeemer took over five years to build and was completed in 1931. It is made of reinforced concrete and soapstone, and it weighs over 635 tons. The statue is 98 feet tall. Its arms are spread wide, as if to embrace the world. The statue is located on Corcovado Mountain, which is one of the highest mountains in Rio de Janeiro. It can be seen from almost anywhere in the city, and it is a popular tourist destination. The statue was designed by French sculptor Paul Landowski. The statue's face was modeled after the face of Brazilian sculptor Carlos Oswald. And its arms were modeled after the arms of Brazilian painter Ator D. A. Silva Costa. Did you know? The statue's outstretched arms measure 92 feet from fingertip to fingertip. That's longer than the wingspan of a Boeing 737. The world is full of wonders, from the ancient ruins of Petra to the modern marvel of the Burj Khalifa. These structures are a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of humankind, and they continue to inspire people all over the world. In the next episode, we will explore some more of these amazing wonders, including the Ram Setu in India, two, the Grand Canyon in United States, don't forget to subscribe, rewrite.